Welcome to your first day of jury duty at the Buchanan County Courthouse. You truly represent a cross-section of our community. We want you to feel proud of your service, as well as informed about what to expect during your time with us. And as a citizen of the state of Missouri, you have the privilege of serving in one of our country's greatest establishments, our local system of justice. In this video, you will meet our judges, some of our court personnel, and learn the basics of jury service in Buchanan County. Let's first take a look at the purpose of a jury in a court of law. Because of the struggles our founding fathers had with England and its tight rule, they recognized that too much power had been placed in the hands of a few. And when writing America's Constitution, they afforded every citizen who was being accused the fundamental right to have a trial by a jury. And this jury was to be made up of 12 of their fellow citizens. According to the Sixth Amendment of the Bill of Rights of our Constitution, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury. So, when you perform jury duty, you are not only preserving your rights and the rights of your fellow citizens, but you are upholding the freedoms set forth in our Constitution. The late Chief Justice of the United States, Harlan Stone, put jury service in perspective when he wrote, jury service is one of the highest duties of citizenship, for by it, the citizen participates in the administration of justice between man and man, and between government and individual. It is every citizen's obligation under the law to serve when summoned. Thank you for serving our country, our state, and taking this obligation seriously. As provided by state law, your name has been selected at random from a list provided by either the Department of Revenue or the Secretary of State Office. This confidential list is generated by persons who have either been issued a driver's license, a Missouri State ID, or are registered to vote in Buchanan County. Every jury trial is governed by a circuit judge who is responsible for ensuring that proper procedures are followed and rulings of law are made so that each party will be given a fair trial. Judges also take charge of the jury panel once they are assigned to a division. The Fifth Judicial Circuit in Buchanan County is partitioned into six divisions which are governed by six honorable judges. Judge Randall R. Jackson, Division I. Judge Weldon C. Judah, Division II. Audio Judge Patrick K. Robb, Division III. Judge Daniel F. Kellogg, Division IV. Judge Keith Marquardt, Division 5. Judge Rebecca L. Spencer, Division 6. Before a trial can begin, a jury panel of 12 jurors must be selected from the citizens summoned to the courthouse. There are several steps which help the court determine who will be serving as a juror. Our jury administrator first welcomes all citizens who have received a summons for jury duty. There are many considerations that allow a potential juror to be eligible to serve. The first selection process is held in the orientation room. If you need any help or information about jury service, our jury administrator is here to help you. 
The administrator also has the responsibility of compiling and dispersing your fees at the end of the term. You will receive $6 plus mileage just for reporting for jury duty. If you are selected to serve on a trial, you will receive $25 plus mileage for each day you serve. After narrowing down the larger group, the administrator will excuse those not selected. The remaining potential jurors will then proceed to the courtroom level as they wait to be escorted into the courtroom. This next phase is called voir dire and actually begins the trial, which is the official selection process of the jury panel. Every word is recorded and all prospective jurors are placed under oath, hence the French term voir dire, which means to speak the truth. Potential jurors are given a brief summary to the upcoming trial and are asked many questions by the court, the defendant's attorney, plaintiff's attorney, and or the prosecuting attorney. When you are answering or asking a question, first state your name, then give your response clearly and loudly for the record. If you are wondering about whether you should respond to a question asked, raise your hand and have the matter clarified before proceeding further. For most jury trials expected to go more than one day, the judge will most likely impanel one or more alternate jurors. The alternate juror must be prepared and ready to step in to take the place of a juror who becomes ill or has an emergency. Remember that a number of you will not serve on the jury simply because we only need 12 jurors and possibly an alternate. Please do not be offended if you are not selected. The court martial in each division is directly in charge of the jurors. Their job is to stay with the jurors when directed by the judge. If you need to contact a friend or family member, or if a special need or emergency arises during the trial, you should tell the court martial and they will communicate that to the judge. Each division has a court reporter or recording system which will be making a record of everything that is said during the trial. There are three types of court reporting. The first is stenotype. The stenotype reporter uses a shorthand machine with keys like a typewriter. The second is a digital audio or tape recorder which picks up responses using microphones placed throughout the courtroom. The third is the use of a steno mask where the reporter repeats everything spoken into a mask which is connected to a digital recorder then automatically transcribed to text through a computer. Here are a few instructions and basic rules you should remember during your jury service. Parking. Please park in the city garage located at 5th and Felix Street or at 6th and Jewel Street. We provide a parking validation for each day you are required to appear. If you are handicapped and need special parking, please notify the jury administrator. The courthouse provides public restrooms and drinking fountains on several levels of the building. Public telephones can be found on the first floor. There is also a public restaurant on the lowest level of the courthouse, which is open for breakfast and lunch until 3 p.m. Smoking is strictly prohibited any place within the courthouse. If you need to smoke, you must do so outside in the designated smoking area. Cell phones. Make sure your cell phone is off before you enter the courtroom. The dress code for jurors is informal, but please do not wear shorts, tank tops, or hats. Appropriate attire shows your respect towards your local court system. You will be provided a jury badge showing that you are serving on jury duty. Please wear the badge the entire day. It identifies you as being a juror and places the attorneys, parties, and witnesses on notice that they should not discuss any case within your hearing. 
If anyone, including attorneys, approaches you and attempts to discuss a case or influence your decision or does anything you feel is inappropriate, you should tell the court martial or jury administrator immediately. And do not discuss these matters with any other jurors. Even after you have completed your service, you are under no obligation to discuss the case with anyone. You should not communicate, record, photograph, video, email, blog, text, or post anything about the trial to any person or the public. This includes use of the internet, including any social networks such as Facebook and Twitter. During a trial, you should not do any investigation on your own or view the scene of any of the incidents described in the case or consider any information except what is admitted into evidence during the trial. The vast majority of jury trials do not require a jury to be kept together at recesses and overnight. If the jury is required to be sequestered, you will be informed early on during the voir dire jury selection process. Sequestration means that each day of the trial, the jury will be kept isolated from the public in order to avoid bribing threatening or tampering with the jury. In the evenings, the jury will be moved to a hotel and kept under close supervision 24 hours a day until the trial is over. But most jury trials do not require sequestration, in which case you are allowed to leave the courthouse during recesses and go home for evenings. Thank you for taking the time to serve on jury duty. Be proud of your service as it upholds our rights and freedoms in America. Please remember that there are no unimportant trials and that you are fulfilling one of the most important duties you have as a citizen of this democracy.